We don't just let anyone inside. There's an entrance test. We call it the safe test. Everyone's gotta take it. There ain't no wrong answers. Grab a pipe and knock him out. Amputate the foot, skate the property by force. Designated hitter. <laughs> I'd ask for a minigun. So I can do the job right. Cherry bomb and blow it open. I'd cut off the mutated tissue. Point a gun in his face and take it from him. Give him a shock the next time he uses it. No one's ever answered quite like you. But hey, you passed. Welcome to Covenant. I just want to set the world on fire. Hey everybody, how's it going? I am Nuke for Prayers and this is Fallout 4 Weapon Crafting with Mods. Today is Viewer Suggestions Part 2. It isn't directly linked with Part 1, so you don't have to watch Part 1 in order to watch this video. You can watch them in any order. This is basically suggestions from viewers in the comments. I, again, have not put the names of the people who suggested them. There was just so many and I've had some issues with making this video, which I'll explain at the end. But I'm going to go on with the video and I hope you enjoy. The first weapon today is Pigman's Tooth. I was asked if I could put the Krim's Tooth Legendary Perk onto the Pigman's Blade, so I did exactly that, and the result is a weapon that is a, it's more powerful than it was before because of the new perk, but all in all, it's the same as it was. I was happy to do this weapon because I don't get many melee requests, and I was going to do a melee episode soon, I don't know when exactly, but in the near future. So I thought it was a nice change to actually put a melee weapon on a video. Next is the Recon Shotgun. I get a lot of requests to make shotguns that shoot ridiculously long ranges, and what I decided to do was put the very long recon scope onto components that boosted the range as much as possible, while using the Combat Shotgun as the base. Now as you can see in the video, there's not a massive amount of damage with this weapon because I'm assuming there is a damage drop off. Or maybe it's just because my character is not really trained for shotguns. So it might actually work better for most people. And you may get more range out of it if you're trained in shotguns. The next weapon is the Freezing Sniper. I was asked to make a sniper rifle that freezes people when it shoots them. And I got the hunting rifle as the basis, and then I added the perk to freeze people from the legendary perks. And I also changed the barrel just to make it look a bit more unique. I want to make this weapon better, I'm probably going to do something with the cryolator involving a sniper rifle. But at the moment, this was the best that I could do with other weapons. So it only really freezes people on critical hits, otherwise I don't really think it does much. I, did, I didn't find that it was very effective in freezing people otherwise. So I'm going to try and improve this one in the future. Next is the LMG. 
I get a lot of requests to make LMGs or machine guns, so I've made two in this video. This first one is a 50 caliber, and it has a low clip despite the fact that it has a massive drum mag because of the hunting rifle being the way it is. It has terrible recoil, but it does do massive damage, and most of the components I used to make this weapon were from the extended weapons mods. I also converted it to automatic fire using the WMX mod, and I also added the legendary perk of rapid fire, which probably didn't help with the recoil, but it just made the weapon fire a hell of a lot faster. The other thing to note with this weapon is that when you use it in VATS, it still uses it as a single shot bolt action rifle, so it does not do the rapid fire in VATS mode. Next is the plasma gauze rifle. I was asked if I could convert a gauze rifle into a plasma rifle, so I used the WMX mod, made it so that it would shoot plasma instead, it does energy damage from the plasma, it also has the legendary perk of plasma, the goo proc and so on, and it also uses plasma for its ammunition type. The damage on the weapon is higher because of the WMX conversion and it still fires in the same way as a gauze rifle. Next is the second machine gun that was on the list, the 308 machine gun. Because of the recoil of the 5th caliber machine gun, I thought I would also make one using the 308 rifle instead, the combat rifle. I added the Bren mag, because I thought that magazine looked really nice. I also used the expanded weapons mods to make it look more like a machine gun. This weapon is much more accurate, has way less recoil, and has a better ammo capacity. It is slightly less damaging than its 50 caliber counterpart, but you will be able to hit more bullets in a row. The next weapon is the Institute 44. Someone asked me to make an Institute version of a 44. I didn't know whether they wanted the 44 revolver to shoot blue laser or a 44 shooting institute pistol, so I did both. This is the institute pistol version, which I don't really like, but it's a 44 and it works in the same way as a 44 does. So this one is the Institute Laser 44, it's the revolver which shoots laser instead, and it uses the blue laser. It also uses fusion cells as its ammo type, so it uses a law friendly ammo type for the weapon itself. And again this weapon is way more damaging than the other one because of the conversion, it adds more energy damage to the physical damage, and it's just a nicer looking weapon and it's more fun to use.
Now finally we come on to the really big toys. This is the two shot little man split beam Gatlin laser. Someone wanted me to make a split beam that used little man ammunition so I did exactly that. I made it the overcharged barrels so I had less recoil for the shots and all I did appearance wise was I left it to use the Gatlin laser appearance. Ammo wise it's very expensive because it uses mini nukes but it does an insane amount of damage and can wipe the floor with pretty much anything that it comes across. It has a lot more range than the Liberty Prime bomb launcher that I made in the past because the explosions are on the impact of the laser weapon instead of being a projectile that drops through the air. The final weapon today is the two shot split beam Liberty Prime laser. I decided to make the appearance different on this one, I didn't want to keep the same appearance as the Gatlin laser with the mini nukes. So I decided to just put together the assault rifle receiver with the laser musket barrel, split beam end, added the flame tanks for an ammo type just to make it look a bit weird, I don't know, I just thought it'd be nice. And it turned out looking decent enough, it looks like some sort of junk weapon that is insanely powerful when you shoot it. As you'll see on the video clips, it just, it blinds your view, but it is very powerful and it just makes things disintegrate in front of you. And that's quite entertaining. It's also funny when you use vats and you shoot people through the air as they get disintegrated. I'm going to have to say this is becoming a regular thing and I apologise for that as well but I'm sorry this video was late but I recorded all the footage, I had hours of footage and I ended up having a video when I looked back at it, it just looked completely messed up and I'll display it on the screen in a minute just so you can see what it looked like. It made me not want to make this video at the time, it just really disheartened me and it put me off doing it for a little while. And this video is a bit rushed because at the moment my game is broken and I wanted to edit this video a little bit more before uploading it. But because my game is broken due to a recent update I have to fix it. So I don't know when the next one will be up. But I wanted to get this one up because I already had the footage, I just wanted to add a bit more but I just thought I'd use the footage that I had. So this video isn't to the, a very respectable quality but it shows off some weapons and I had to remove a couple because there just wasn't enough footage of them to edit down to make a decent video out of. So there may be some more viewer suggestions in the future. If you want to add any suggestions do so in the comments and I'll see if I can make them for a video in the future. I'm probably going to go on to melee or something else in the next video not really sure which yet and I don't know when it will be released because like I said I have to fix my game. I hope that I can get one up as soon as possible but if not it may take a week or two before I upload another one. So I apologize in advance for the delay but I'm going to see if I can get it done really quickly and sort everything out, strip my game down and just get it working again. Anyway I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one. So take care.